current atrocious externa is qu quite a problem, um, and for somebody who has it, it can be a, a real pain. Uh, the ear is constantly discharging, leaking, uncomfortable, reduced hearing, etc., etc. And uh, we all know that the way we treat a, a simple uh, otitis externa is, is ear drops. Don't give oral antibiotics for it. But it, allied to that uh, application of, a, of an antibiotic and, and steroid drop into the ear, you often have to have some degree of cleaning because the ear canal itself fills up with debris and that therefore needs to be cleaned. And often just one episode of cleaning the ear will be enough to, to stop the recurrent episodes. So that's one thing to think about. The other thing is when someone is having a number of ear infections, uh, it, the, the reaction is, oh, let's put them on another drop, let's put them on another spray, let's do something to try and stop that. And sometimes that in itself can lead to problems. We all know if we take oral antibiotics and we take several courses, we have a risk of getting thrush same thing can happen in the ear canal. So you'll kill off all the bacteria, but you'll have a wonderful environment for all the fungi to, uh, to, to divide, and, and so you can end up with a fungal otitis externa. And that is actually really very difficult to treat because there, you just get recurring buildup of debris and, ma um, and mass within the uh, ear canal, which needs to be cleaned out. So uh, in adults, that's a, that's a very, very common scenario that we see. And there's certain groups who just have infection after infection after infection, uh, there are two things to consider. One is that actually there may be an underlying problem with the skin, an eczema, if you like, uh, and that is you get the infection settled, but then once the infection settled, you need to treat the eczema, otherwise you're just going to get another infection happening straight away. So in those patients, once the infection has gone, get them on some form of steroid drop, or if it's less severe, just a simple olive oil drop to get moisture back into the skin to protect it, to stop further infections happening. In summary, uh, when somebody is having recurring uh, otitis externa, the thing to think is, is there an underlying cause for that? So think about eczema. So is the skin dry and, and, and flaky and, and it's that that's causing recurring infections? So once you've got the ear treated, think about that. Secondly, think is there something deeper in the ear, middle ear problem, whereby infection is coming out from the middle ear and then secondarily infecting the ear canal skin. And thirdly, is there some debris that's just not coming out? So when you're treating otitis externa, the key thing is to think of, of not using just the same drops every time, otherwise you're going to end up with antibiotic resistance. So my first line treatment of somebody who's got otitis externa with an intact eardrum would be something like Sofridex or Gentazone hydrocortisone drops or the Otomize spray, which tends to get a better penetration into the ear. If you're concerned that there may be a perforation deeper, you want to use a non-ototoxic drop uh, and we've got ofloxacin and other ciprofloxacin type of eardrops, which if they do go through into the middle ear, won't cause any damage.